Hello there! So today I thought I would try something a little different. I'm wearing cat ears. Um, usually when I do these types of videos I will be sat in front of my cameras. You're not going to hear me on the stairs, are you? I would usually be sat in front of my cameras, in front of my lights, doing these types of videos. Basically today, I am going to be testing out a new product. I look a bit crazy because I've not finished my makeup. As you guys know, my favourite setting spray is the Urban Decay All Nighter. It's what I've always used and occasionally I'll transfer to the NYX Matte Finishing Spray. For the most part, I will always use my Urban Decay All Nighter. I have run out and I'm not going to lie to you guys, this month has been a bit tight. So I went into Primark and looked at Primark makeup and I came across this <laughs> makeup setting spray. So I am going to be testing this out today and let you know what I think to it. It was two pounds. <laughs> if, by the grace of God, this works out to be better or equal to my Urban Decay All Nighter, I am gonna be one freaking happy bunny. I tend to set my face twice. Um, I tend to set my face after I've done all the base and everything like that, and then I leave out mascara, lipstick, and highlighter, and then I will set my face again after I've done mascara and highlighter, and then the last thing I go on with is a liquid lip, uh, because I find when I use a setting spray with a liquid lip, it kind of breaks it up a little bit, so I don't tend to do that. Oh, I didn't bring up my tripod, what a tit. Let's sit you here, you can sit here. Okay, that kind of works, you're a bit of an angle, you're sat on all my brushes. So I've done everything I need to do aside from the few last little bits, so I'll set twice like I normally do. I want this to be a fair test, I've done my makeup as I normally do it. So let's go in with it. What does it say directions? Danger, extremely flammable. My cat keeps trying to escape. It just tells me not to spray in places, it doesn't actually tell me how to spray. Now this is, it says a makeup fixing spray, it sets makeup for long lasting makeup finish, oil free and suitable for all skin types. We all know I'm hella oily so I'm interested to see how my skin goes through the day. Uh, I'll be doing checkups throughout the day, I know this is a bit of a slapdash video, usually I have cameras and lights and lots of other things but we're doing it this way today, mainly because it's too hot to sit under camera lights. So I usually go half the face. Oh, that is, <coughs> that is really alcoholy, guys. That is insanely alcoholy. I like it, it's more of a mist than a spray. Cause you know, like a spray, you spray it and it comes out like a spray. But this is like a mist, which actually I quite appreciate cause I feel like it covers more rather than targeted points, you know, with some sprays. So I will set that side of my face and I blow the setting spray in and it just helps to keep everything in place. Okay, off the bat, what I can tell you is interesting is this is my most oily place on my entire face. And this side is still really quite moist, whereas this side is drying down now. And I don't know whether that's because I'm fanning it or this is actually doing something. Do the other side. <coughs> I think as well with this, I would recommend if you have sensitive skin like I do, do a little patch test on the back of your hand or on your arm or something so you can see whether you're allergic to it or not. I did not do that because I'm a dope, so I'm hoping when I open my eyes I don't have great big, huge red splodges. No, we seem to be cool. I would say that's set now, so I'm just gonna go in and do the rest of my makeup. Then I'll go in with my final set of my face. I can hear it fizzing on my hair. It's not gonna like turn it green or something. This is what I have to do in the summer. In the winter, I only tend to set once and don't really use setting powders or anything like that. But in the summer, my skin is it's quite combo really. In the winter, it is still a little bit oily, but it's more towards the dry side in most places. And then in summer, it's just oil, 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 oil. I do prefer doing my makeup during the winter time because it's just much better. So the last thing I'm going to do is put on my lipstick. Okay, so that is the setting spray on. Um, I'm really, really interested to see how it fares throughout the day. It's, um, please ignore my eyelashes, they look crazy. But as you can see, close up here, skin looking okay. It is currently half past ten. We'll check in in an hour. Okay guys, we are at the hour check-in. I'm just gonna go check in the mirror so I can see properly. It is super, super hot today, so this is gonna be a really, really good test. And obviously I can't have the windows and the doors open because of this one. Who hasn't had his jabs yet? Playing with Mark's shoe. Yes, you. And also what you needed. Sorry, bud. Looking up close in the mirror. So the main places I have breakage around my nose. Everywhere else I seem to be okay. So if we just uh, zoom in, we can see 
but on the cheeks it still seems pretty fine on the forehead it still seems pretty fine on the nose we do have a tiny tiny little bit of breakage just there and around the eye area it looks terrible um, but I'm starting to think that's my new concealer that just doesn't seem to sit on my skin properly that is not good so the places that I've put this new concealer are up here and here so it'd be interesting to see if that's where I actually break out but other than that not too bad at the one hour point hello we are at the two hour mark um, I've just been editing uh, the weekly vlog and doing a few bits and bobs so let's just see how we're doing forehead is absolutely fine the cheeks are absolutely fine around here is absolutely fine I don't know whether you can see that ignore my moustache but that seems absolutely fine and that is usually my most sweaty bit so I'm quite happy with that um, obviously it's still breaking even more around here and down the bridge of my nose where I put that concealer but other than that it's like staying really really well we are only two hours in though so we will see how it keeps going um it's still super super hot i do think it's like cooled a little bit or well, my body temperature's dropped but everyone is just conked out this one i've had to bring poor charlie bobs in because it's just too hot for her she loves the sun but she's like panting away she's got a full thing of water but um, she's just panting away. I wonder how Mark's doing. I wonder if he's put sun cream on. I'm gonna take a guess and say he hasn't because he never does. Kind of went into vlogging then mode. I keep getting confused. This is a different thing. So we will check back in a little bit later. We're just about at the three hour mark and I can feel my face starting to sweat around here and around here. So we're just gonna take a look. I'm like a little bit shiny, but I'm not sweaty there. So that's my highlight. I can feel that I'm sweating, but it's staying in place. <laughs> and my makeup isn't shifting apart from these areas. Okay, so we have some breakage around here. Everywhere else seems to be fine. So I could feel myself sweating, because um, have I mentioned it's warm today? Uh, but it doesn't seem to be translating in my makeup, which is great. Also as well, around the four hour mark for me, normally, um, my makeup is done, that is it. Like it cannot hack anymore, no matter what I do, no matter what I try and change, no matter what I uh, put on my face, The setting powders the setting sprays the i don't know before bits the primers it always comes off and it always comes off around my nose which i'm not surprised this is happening but actually like even though this concealer is naff the breakage around my nose isn't too terrible at all under here is where i put the most concealer and i never have a problem under my eyes at all so i know for a fact that is the concealer so far really really impressed with this setting spray and dare i say it I think this is better than the Urban Decay All Nighter. I, we'll see how we do for the rest of the day. But, I mean, my makeup's still looking pretty okay. Which is crazy. Anyway, I'll check back in a bit later. Okay, we're at the four hours mark. And I've just um, baked some brownies and bits of And I just went into the bathroom to wash my hands and looked in the mirror. And all under here has come off my mascara. I know this isn't a test on mascara but this has never happened before i think i think again this might be a concealer issue tomorrow i'm going to try a different concealer with this and i'll let you know in terms of makeup breakage in terms of makeup falling out at the four hour mark where everything has usually gone off my nose it's still pretty intact i mean we have patchiness it has sunk into my pores a little bit but this is the best that i've had in a very very long time i am sweaty af right now so i'm a little bit shiny um but nothing too bad i don't think so i'm really 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 impressed with this so far okay so final check-in it's been about eight hours now um usually at this time i would take my makeup off as you can see um starting to get a bit of breakage all around here and all around here uh, but, and obviously we're ignoring the nose and under the eyes but we are getting breakage here now and a little bit on the cheek and stuff here but other than that I think it stayed on really well to say that normally in like four hours it would be off and like it's still like if you're from a distance it looks okay so yeah I'm actually really really impressed with the settings where if I do a quid I am um, absolutely flabbergasted so thank you so much for watching guys comment below if you tried this setting spray and don't forget to follow me on social media i'm on twitter instagram and snapchat or being a fish thank you so so much for watching guys hit the subscribe button hit the like button and i'll see you guys soon bye